Our top story this Thursday night, a Jacksonville mother is breaking her silence, telling KETK News her second grade son was physically harmed in the one place she trusted to keep him safe. She says he was hurt by his teacher inside their classroom. Today, she opened up to KETK's Ashlyn Anderson about what happened. I would have never expected that to happen at school by a teacher. An investigation is now underway by the Jacksonville Independent School District. I love you. Concerned parent Ashelly Whitaker tells KTK News her seven year old son was hurt by his second grade teacher. I see him coming down the hallway with a bloody tissue up to his mouth and his eyes swollen, him crying, his eyes out, snot rolling down. Whitaker says physical marks and his reaction were telling that something happened. Took me into a room alone and she repeatedly pushed me up against the wall and I could not breathe. Heartbroken by what her son said, mom says she immediately called 911, filed a report with CPS, the school's resource officer, and spoke with the Smith County Advocacy Center. It was literally by the grace of God I had to go to work early that day. And by me going to work early, I found out that this is what was going on. This is what was happening. The Jacksonville ISD Police Department confirms the mother did raise concerns and that they are interviewing everyone involved. You would think that they would have uh, a certain criteria that they would go by on how to deal with children with ADHD. Her being an Oasis teacher as well, being trained in this field. Ultimately, Whitaker made the choice to remove her son from the campus for his safety and her peace of mind. It's very unfortunate what happened to my son, but my son isn't the only one. There are plenty of children and parents with the same story, if not worse. And during the interview, Whitaker tells me she's also pushing for cameras to be installed inside behavioral classrooms. She believes they could help in incidents like these and provide definite proof to what's happening. Casey Isaac. Now, Ashlyn, we know that you've spoken with the school district about this investigation. How's that going? And also, what has happened since then to this little boy's teacher? So Jacksonville ISD confirmed the investigation. They tell us the district recognizes the seriousness of these allegations and that they're cooperating with authorities. And as for the teacher, we do know she is on administrative leave for now and outside of the classroom. In studio, Ashlyn Anderson, KTK News.